Murphy. I'm back again. Like I promised, I have more Rainbow High dolls. Today I have Ruby Anderson and Violet Willow. I am so excited. I have been so impressed with this series so far. The details are phenomenal. They look so great in the light. Everything about these dolls is fantastic, and I just cannot wait to see more from MGA. They are just rocking it with the series. I just, oh, I could go on forever, but let's not because we've got dolls to unbox. So here's Ruby in her box. She has a white t-shirt underneath kind of a bustier and this one has little buckles on it. She has a wraparound flannel shirt and I don't know, it looks like it's not an actual shirt, but we'll see when we unbox her. Um, she has some red pants, like kind of a denim, I can tell by the material and the light, with a gold graphic on them. Then she's got some little black and red heels. She has a trucker cap, which I think is a really cool detail. The other dolls do not have anything like that. She also has another outfit, just like all the dolls in this series have two outfits. She has a, looks like a track jacket, um, and I can't tell, I think it's a little, it's either a tank top or a tube top under there. And then she's got a, looks like a faux leather skirt, and she's got the same kind of belt, but slightly different, I think. It may be the same. Let me see. Actually, yeah, it's the same belt, except her little belt buckle is a little bit different as far as the shape and uh, color. Hers is gold. And then she's got these boots that have like flames on the side. That is really cool. Um, her makeup looks like she's got some red liner, some gold detailing, and some like kind of light red on the outside. I love the color of her hair. All right, so that is Ruby in the box. And then we have Violet Willow. Now this one in particular, I just love, oh my gosh. I love that glam look that she's got going on in her hair. Oh my gosh, I just love it. She's got like all these different shades of purple. She's got like a periwinkle, a lavender, an orchid. Oh, every shade of purple. And she's got some purple earrings. And I love this faux fur coat. It's got some iridescent material in between it. And underneath, she's got the sequiny kind of dress. This kind of reminds me of the Na Na Surprise, the rainbow one, which I have. Just to show you guys, kind of reminds me of Na Na. A little bit. And... Then she's got these iridescent socks. Oh, I love these socks. It's like kind of hard to see in the box. And then she's got some purple heels. It is really hard to see in the box. I can't wait to show you guys out. All right. Then she's got a faux leather jacket, kind of bolo jacket. And this is really cute. I love this little like kind of lacy, dress that she has here. It has little straps that say rainbow on them and then these little rhinestones and it looks like little fuzzy pink dots. Oh god, the detailing is so great. I love it. I even think this here on her uh, bolo jacket looks like it like buckles. That's really cool. And then she's got a pair of shoes down here which have bows on them. All right, so that's Violet Willow. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox her first because I already have her in front of the camera. So excited. Oh, also the back of the box on all of these looks the same. I showed it in my first video of Rainbow High. It looks the same, the story is the same on all of them. So if you watch my first video, You'll get a chance to see that if you would like to.
Okay, so here's Violet Willow out of the package. Oh, I love that iridescent. It is so pretty. Look at in between her jacket. She has that same kind of rainbow iridescence. Here's her shoe. It's got some detailing there. A little plastic here still. Okay. So like I said, she's got multiple shades of purple in her hair. I love it. Her eyes are purple and blue. And then she's got that same kind of iridescence on her eyeshadow and the highlighter that they all have. And she has purple star earrings. Very articulated. And her hair has a lot of product, so you'll probably want to boil wash it if you want to uh, restyle her. Let's go ahead and check out her second outfit. I will go ahead and put her doll stand together. And all the doll stands are the same as far as the design goes. The color is, of course, whatever color they're represented. I'm going to put her in here while I go and get her other outfit ready. Let's see. There we go. Okay. I'm going to get her in my mother outfit. Alrighty, guys. Here she is in her second outfit. Very pretty. I love it. It gives me a total 80s vibe. Leather jacket, lace. These are her shoes. I love the bow details. All right. So there's a lot of possibilities with mixing and matching with all of these dolls, really. Yeah, she is just gorgeous. She needs a little bit of a boil wash. Her hair wasn't quite as bad as Sunny's, but it's still, it's still kind of stiff. All right. So that was Violet. Let's get on and check out Ruby. Alrighty guys, here's Ruby Anderson. She is so pretty. All these dolls are gorgeous. What am I saying? But as you can see, they're very, very, very articulated. There's her shirt, and this is a separate top. And this here is just a piece of cloth here. It looks like it's it looks like a flannel. So it's a nice little detail, but she cannot wear this, except around her waist there. It does have a Velcro in the back. And her shoes have red on the bottoms and black around and clear straps. So what I noticed in the box, I had to be super duper careful because the ties that tie her into the box are the same clear plastic. So I can see somebody making the mistake and actually cutting the shoes. So a little bit of a design flaw, I think. They could have made it a different color with this particular doll, but you know, I get it, just be careful. 
Just be careful so you don't ruin your doll's shoes. Okay, here's her hat. She has it on backwards. It says Rainbow with Flames. Her makeup is gorgeous. Look at that gold, purple, pink eyes. Oh, their features are just, ah, I can't get enough. I will be starting an Instagram very soon. This doll line actually inspired me to start doing it. And what I would like to do is get them in their representing colors in different outfits, either made by myself or somebody else, and put them on there so that everybody can see how beautiful these dolls are. So keep a lookout on for that. I will let you know in the future when I get that started. Um, in the meantime, you can subscribe to my channel so that you'll get all the updates on everything that's going on and have access to all of my videos at all times. Anyway, little side note. Her hat does come off and it seems, okay, oh, it's in there good, okay. She has a peg on the inside of her hat to keep it put. And that is a good feature as long as it does not show. And as you can see, there's a hole there, but it is very easily covered up by the hair. So if you didn't want to wear the hat, it's uh, very easy, very easy. So, we will leave that off for now just for her second outfit. And I'm just curious, I'm gonna take a look. I don't think the other dolls have that feature where you can put the hat on. Yeah, here's Sunny, there is, there's no hole. So I think that is just specific to Ruby. Although I'm sure that you could alter your dolls if you wanted them to be able to wear hats like this because it is nice and being a doll collector, I have used hats a lot and the problem that I do find is they don't stay on very well so this it's nice to see something like this that works well with posing and displaying I like that all right so we're gonna go ahead and get her ready in her second outfit all righty here she is in her second outfit oh she's dabbing <laughs> Oh, that's why I just love these dolls. They're so poseable. All right, she's got some really, really beautiful curls. This one, I'm going to leave the product in because I love those big curls. I think I'll do the same with uh, Skylar Bradshaw. Yeah. All right, so for her second outfit, she has a faux leather red skirt with the belt there. Underneath, she does have a tube top. This one reminds me a lot of uh, Tommy Hilfiger. Like uh, back in the day, I had a tube top kind of like that. Then she's got a windbreaker and the material, oh, excuse me. The material on these dolls is just awesome. It's like a mini version of whatever you would wear. I really, really love that they're detailed with this stuff. I mean, there's like, there's mesh jersey here, that windbreaker material, little pull ties. On the back, it's a Rainbow High logo. And then she's got these really cool boots that actually slide on pretty easily. You just move them back and forth. They go on pretty easily. They got little zipper details. And I think her hat would probably look really good with this outfit. And see, like now I'm having to find her. Now I'm having to find the little hole. There we go. All right. There she is. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing video. It's been a lot of fun. We now have all of our basic dolls unboxed. Next time, we're going to be doing Amaya Rain, which is the rainbow doll. And soon afterwards, we'll also be doing the hair salon where we can dye our doll's hair and stuff. 
So look forward to that. Thanks guys. <laughs>